Hello, Tri-Citizens. Today on TCNN, we are checking out last Sunday's dodgeball tournament, Kai's vs. Home Lunch, and last week's Fall Fun Week. And it's all happening right here on TCNN. Last Sunday, ASB put on a dodgeball tournament for the high school. The students had a blast fighting to be the number one in the dodgeball tournament. Here's Katie with that story. Last Sunday, ASB hosted a dodgeball tournament, and we're going to hear from the students about how they performed. I was on the blue team, and I think just like moving faster and definitely like not throwing the balls in stupid places, like they were tossing them up underhand, and I was like, hmm, not the best idea. School starts too, so I'm just like, all right, that's a fun thing I can do before school. The best team was probably the black team because the black team actually like put in a lot of effort to it. They had a lot of like baseball players, and the baseball players threw them so hard. So I was on the white team, and uh, that's whoever was here. We won, and it was actually a great feeling. We had a, a few clutch games, like the last game when it was um, us versus red, and we were down one game. We, were, we thought we were gonna lose, and then until we made a clutch catch, we just got three outs in a row, and then won. That was a great feeling, it was great to be on the white team. I love this event because I just love playing dodgeball, it's a lot of fun. I mean, who doesn't love playing dodgeball? Uh, even if I didn't win, it's a lot of fun to just play. Thanks for sharing all your thoughts about the tournament. Congratulations to the white team on winning. Back to you guys. Thanks, Katie, <laughs> and congrats to the white team for securing the dub. Here at Tri-City, students can choose between bringing a lunch from home and picking one up from Kai's. Let's go to Josh to see which they prefer. Some students wake up every day and pack their own food for their lunch, while others come to school with their lunch already done. I prefer Kai's lunch because it's just easier for me, so I don't have to like make a lunch or pack one. If I was going to pack a regular lunch, it would probably be it's like a peanut butter jelly sandwich or something like that. It's like simple, like chips. My favorite thing to get from Kai's is probably chicken nuggets on Tuesdays because they're just the best. I usually get Kai's every day. Uh, if I were to bring a lunch, it would probably be just like random stuff in my house, like chips and sandwich. My favorite thing to get from Kai's is definitely the California burrito because it tastes really good and I can put chips in it and like salsa. I lunch because my mom has been packing my lunch ever since I was little and I've never... If I were to get a Kai's lunch, I would get chicken nuggets because it would just like the best that you can get at Kai's because mac and cheese is gross. My favorite thing to pack in my lunch when I bring one is Gushers because they're really good. Whatever option you prefer, make sure you get a nice, healthy lunch to help fuel your day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Josh. Seems like Kai's may be a great alternative for lunch. Next week will be shorter with Veterans Day on Monday. Let's check in with Ella to see what else is going on. Good morning, Eagles. It's your favorite, Ella Mappin, back with your announcements for November 8th. On Saturday, we have a volleyball game for CIF at Cathedral. Um, please come out and cheer on our Eagles at La Jolla Country Day at 7 p.m. on Friday night. That's it for today. Back to you guys. Well, uh, looks like there will be a full week ahead. Last week was Fall Fun Week. And we had candy, pumpkin hunts, crazy socks, and a big celebration during lunch. Here's more on that with Gabby. I'm actually here at our Fall Fest event. Um, we have our ASB president here to give us a little bit more info on our event. So, Sabella, um, how did you guys get the idea for this event? Well, um, we knew that like fall season was coming up and Thanksgiving was coming up, and we always have this um, Thanksgiving feast every year. But we wanted to incorporate something else just so like we could have like a time where everyone can have fun. And we were thinking like, well, why don't we serve snow cones and popcorn and have a huge dumpy and everything? Because who doesn't love that stuff? So um, we decided to get all this together. One, everyone loves it, and two, it's a good way to raise money and everything. Thank you so much. The event was definitely a success. So I'm here with our junior high Briggs. Um, Briggs, what was your favorite part about the event today? Um, I like climbing up with my friends and like pulling them down, I like tackling them. Yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks for your input. So Cassie, do you think that today was a success? And if so, explain to us why. 
Yes, I think today was a success because there was a super long line for the jumpy. I actually didn't get to go on it because the line was so long. Looks like ASB threw an amazing event once again. Hopefully you guys got a good insight on the story. Back to you guys. Thanks, Gabby. Looking forward to whatever ASB comes up with next. Our spring musical this year will be Frozen. We have Keaton in the studio with Maria Tubbs to tell us more about that musical. Thanks, guys. So I'm joined with Maria here, who is the assistant director in the upcoming musical. So, Maria, how did the drama department come up with the idea to do this specific musical? Miss Stagner chose Frozen because there's so much excitement involved around Frozen right now with the new movie coming out, and Broadway has just released the rights to it. So you can't actually produce a show until January, so we'll be one of the first schools to do it. That sounds exciting and super exclusive. So what are the commitments for anyone who comes out to audition? There's no commitment if you just audition. If you don't want to do it, that's totally okay. But when you audition, you have to, you have to, if you get cast, you have to go to rehearsals, which are three times a week, but you're not going to be called to every rehearsal, and you have to be there the week of the show. And then when are the auditions for this musical? The auditions are December 4th, and callbacks are December 6th, and we hope to see you there. Sounds like we have a great spring show to look forward to. Back to you guys. Sounds like a lot of work is going into the musical. Can't wait to see it in the spring. That's all we have for you guys this week. We'll see you next time on, on TCNN. TCNN.